Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the JavaScript. Today we are going to learn about the phone number validation. So what the phone number validation contains, like the phone number should be a 10 digit number. It should not contains the alphanumeric. Okay, and it should be a 10 digit number. So we are going to check with this one. So suppose first we are adding any of the numbers and check submit. So it says that the please enter 10 digit number, right? Because it's not a num it's not a number digits, right? If I go and just add 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <clears throat> Again, it says please enter a 10 digit number because the number cannot be starts from 0, right? Because not we are not accepting the country code, right? So next next criteria that we have to add a proper number. Okay, yeah, this is 10 digit number. Then it says that the phone number is valid. So what we have followed up like alphanumeric, it should not contain 0 and 1 at the first position and it should contain only digits rather than numer alphanumeric, right? So let's have a look what about the code levels before. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that. <coughs> so here we have the phone number validation where we have a on submit return validate phone number okay so on submit we have the function javascript that is validate phone number <coughs> so go to the validate phone number so first we are getting the phone get element by id phone and its value and check okay first we check if can uh, if the phone number is exactly 10 digits or not then we are showing the message should be a 10 digit number okay because here you can see that this is the regex which checks about the only digits Okay, it should contain only digits. If it is not containing digits, it will show that message that please enter a 10 digit phone number. Okay, so first we check the length. It should not be greater than equal to 10, not equal to 10. Then we will show the message that 10 digit number. Okay, and again, we will check, check if the first digit is zero or one. <clears throat> if it is zero or one, then we will again show the message, please enter a valid phone number. Okay, <coughs> next check if the number contain only digits okay so here is the pattern for the digits okay so here you can see that the same thing is here and right, so first we will check the phone number only contain digits if it is contain digits then we will move further else it will show the error please enter a valid phone number this is a regex okay which contain only digits it says the digits d digits so it contains should be digits okay <coughs> if phone number is valid all conditions are uh, according to it then all criteria are checked then we will show the message that phone number is valid and return the data true this is the simple logic that we are adding to validate the phone number <coughs> okay so any doubt any query let me word wrap this some okay so this is that much so any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section sometimes the uh, like there is a another thing that the client wants that is we have to validate on key press currently i am on submit button right sometimes you, you need a requirement like when i press something it should be show me the error at the runtime okay so that we will going to do in the next video thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day